Farming in Marin also happens on the tidelands of Tomales Bay and Drake's Estero. Oysters have been farmed here since 1875. The industry ranks third in Marin production value, behind dairy and livestock. Oysters are grown from microscopic larvae called seed and take two to three years to be ready for market. John Finger of Hog Island Oyster Company is one of the new entrepreneurs farming oysters in Tomales Bay. I've been working on this bay since 1980, actually. I started Hog Island. I think we got our first leases the end of 1982 and planted our first oysters in 1983. Farming oysters is different in many ways from the fruits and vegetable farms that most of us are familiar with. No inputs or fertilizers are used in the process. The daily ebb and flow of the tides bathe the oysters with nutrients. And the oysters are our primary grazers. That's, that's you know, why they're so wonderful and good for you and all those good things. They're very low in the food chain and, and the food is brought to them. So again, that's what makes this place so good is it's got a great profile of, of all those things. The signature of the bay is like the terroir of the wine just really doing the right things above and beyond that, and that's what we do, is really making sure the oysters are healthy and they don't get crowded, and, and as they move through the life cycles, we know what parts of the bay are best for what types of oysters and what life stages, and that's what we do that, that, that probably makes our oysters as good as they can possibly be from this place. Having a bay this clean to grow oysters and makes a statement. You know, however, it's not that way all year round here. In the wintertime, our, our water quality suffers due to runoff from the land. Really what it comes down to is, is the bay's health is linked to the watershed health. So we, you know, we're all working together to try to make our streams healthier. And it's, it's good all around, not just for the oysters, but for, but for, for salmon and steelhead and, 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 a, and a lot of reasons we need to have healthy streams. I'm on the Tomales Bay Watershed Council, um, you know, and I, I go to, to resource conservation district meetings. I've been to dairy waste committee meetings over the years, and I think I've won the respect of a lot of people over that time. You know, I sell right at the farm. We have a, a, a booming retail business there. We have a restaurant in the Ferry Building in San Francisco. If I was going to say one thing to consumers, that if they do value agriculture and local agriculture, they really need to, to put their money where their mouth is and support it. I mean, this is not an easy business to survive anywhere. I mean, I've been at this. We've owned this company for 24 years, and there are always new challenges. There are different conditions out here, and you're dealing with Mother Nature, and it's never going to be easy to grow oysters. I know that. I knew that getting into it, and I, 24 years later, I'm still saying the same thing. So, you know, the support of, of knowing that we can sell our product at a good price locally and fairly easily is huge in terms of survivorship of, of, of agriculture, and especially in this county.